Last night I thought I picked all the tomatoes, then a bunch ripened up overnight. I love that. It's like little gifts in the morning. Kevin was frustrated because I reserved all the tomatoes for today's recipe and food with Daddy. And he wants some for breakfast, so I'm trying to find him some. It rained last night, so it's a bit cold this morning. Look at that fog over the tops of the mountains. All right, I'm getting ready to cook my spaghetti squash for food with Daddy. Look how beautiful. Those are all the tomatoes I've been hoarding from everybody, uh, but it was worth it. Look how nice those look. Food with Daddy. Bum, 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 Kevin is over here fixing the fence that they had put up for the geese. And last night the goats had a little playground, fun time, and tore the whole fence down. And they were all in this smaller cage. They love to climb on things. So Kev's over here trying to fix it. And these goats are trying to act innocent. We have our first official blackberry ready to eat. Kev's gonna be the taste tester because he's the blackberry master. Smells great. It's got a nice... <laughs> Just eat it. Wow. Good? So good. <gasps> I'm jealous, there's only one. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just got done with another workout. It was nice and shady today. I am again very, hey, you didn't wait for me to film it. I was gonna tell you that we had some delicious treats for the animals because Kevin's mom is making peach cobbler. I'm really sorry if there's a bunch of almond butter in my teeth. I just chowed down. Uh, but there are a ton of peach, like some rotten peaches, which they love, and just scraps. But we keep trying to get the goats to like us. So I think these peaches will do the trick. And they all come running. They love it. Sort of. Wait, what? Are you serious? Nothing. They're just sniffing it. What did you want? Yeah, these goats are a mystery. They want a drink. They want like, well, a bunch of good peaches wasted on you guys. All right, we're back at Big Meadow Creek. Somehow, I was convinced, I was tricked into mountain biking. Never been before, and I, I'm a little nervous about it. I feel like I'm probably gonna fall. Sven brought me a bike. This is where we went hiking two day, a couple days ago, so now we're gonna take some bikes on it. Last time we actually were hiking here, I saw a girl fall on her mountain bike. There's a chipmunk spying on me right now. Kev's got his rare form backpack on, which we realized, we told you they used recycled billboards. We realized it's a portion of the Mad Men billboard. All right, Dutsiv's all geared up. She's, what? Too short. No, it's good. She's on her Schwinn. I got this awesome purple giant. What up, what up, what up? Feeling good. So, I guess our memories were a little foggy. We imagined that this trail was a lot flatter than it actually was. So I've just been pushing my bike for the past 20 minutes and I'm exhausted. I just did like a really intense workout right before this and my legs are gonna give out.
<laughs> Boom, baby! <laughs> Downhill, here we go. I took a little break. I sat right here on this tree and waited for Cam and Sven because I was so tired. You already worked out today though. You have an excuse. I was really tired. Okay, go slow. Both brakes. Lean back. And you got this, baby. I'm riding one handed. Alright guys. We did a little bit of a excursion. Um, I told everyone that it was a little flatter than it was. <laughs> so we went through some bumps and stuff. Steven ate it a little bit. But he's doing okay. Alright man. You got some really deep cuts right there. Down there. Let's see that bottom lip one. Shown. Yeah, right there. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, it's so good. What the hell is this thing? It looks like something of the future. What a beautiful pattern on the wings. <laughs> Found this old photo of myself. Look how short my hair is. And I have a nose ring. But also, I'm pretty sure Kevin's hair is that length right now. We at one point had the same haircut. Alright, poor little Sven is home recovering from his wounds. And we're going to go party without him. <laughs> um, we're, no, I need that. We're going uh, to a Basque festival uh, that Kevin found out about. And there's going to be some Basque dancing. Some traditional dancing. I've never seen, I haven't seen very much of the Basque culture at all. So I'm excited to go see. So I just found a statistic today. What? Gardnerville slash Minden is the, has the fifth hottest percentage of Basque people in the United States. For like, wow. For like a town. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs>
enjoying ourselves so much that we decided to come in for a drink. Kelly and I are drinking Kelly Mojo's, which, hold on. <laughs> what are you doing? Which is really nostalgic for me because I had these in Spain. It's Coke and wine. It sounds weird, but it's really good. Cheers, Kelly. <laughs> All right, it is pretty late right now. I just got sucked into the book that I'm reading. I've been reading it for probably for like an hour down here on the couch. Kevin already went to bed, but I'm about to go to bed now. I haven't even finished it yet. I have like three more chapters left. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. But I'm gonna call it a night. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the whole world. We will see you tomorrow.